On the 27th of June, we spoke about Special Constable Andrew Parkinson from Greater Manchester Police, a big bully who grabbed a seven-year-old child round the throat because he got PC Andrew Parkinson a bit wet from some spray as the boy was playing a water fight. 55-year-old Parkinson, yeah, he was 55 years old and throttled a seven-year-old, picked the schoolboy up around the neck and the chest after he had been sprayed and then carried him to his parents' house. In June, we heard how Parkinson tried to excuse his behaviour by claiming the seven-year-old boy was trying to headbutt him, when in fact the child stumbled over a rock, or so it was decided in court based on the evidence. I'll link to the previous report in the description and up here. Can you imagine even having the gall to tell someone who's not a judge that you thought a seven-year-old was trying to intentionally headbutt you, so you throttled them? I mean, what was he trying to headbutt? His shin? I know kids are getting taller, but fuck me. Thankfully, the incident was witnessed by neighbours and Parkinson was arrested and charged with assault by beating, which he was found guilty of. Well, now Parkinson has been sentenced for his indiscretion, or rather his act of self-defence against the deliberate headbutt from a seven-year-old, as he likes to call it. Liverpool Crown Court decided that Parkinson must pay compensation of £250 to the boy's family. He's been slapped with two restraining orders. He must carry out 200 hours of unpaid work, pay a £90 victim surcharge and £900 in costs. Parkinson has been suspended since he was charged and will now no doubt have to wait for his misconduct hearing which of course will be held whenever the senior ranks can be asked to hold it. Special Constable Andrew Parkinson had served with Greater Manchester Police for some 30 years. Now, either he wasn't quite up to being able to abuse the public, like his full-breed brothers and sisters in blue, and wasn't hired as full-time plod, or he preferred to keep his abusing people and work life separate. But it does seem odd that someone who's worked voluntarily for 30 years wouldn't want to get paid for doing the job. Very peculiar. Although I wouldn't do it even if you paid me, but still, I certainly wouldn't do it voluntarily. <laughs>